Well, hello there. As many of you already know, I've been battling with the brain tumor for the last two years and now it's time to fix one of the biggest problems it has caused me over that period of time. I know this is not the motorcycle content you would like, but it's an update and it's a small explanation as to why I'm Patched Bandit and why my channel is called that. So I hope you enjoy the update and maybe if some of you are someone knows someone going through with this same surgery you can show them this video and uh, maybe they will be at ease as to how well it goes after the surgery and how bad is it so this is how I'm, my eyesight is when i look straight into the camera my other eye is pointing up and my other eye is looking at the camera and uh, this is how i know that my right eye is the dominant eye and it is looking straight and my left eye is doing all kinds of crazy stuff. The reason for this is that I have a tumor behind this eye, the eye is looking straight. And because of a couple of operations that I had to endure because of that tumor, the position of that eye is now not where it's supposed to be. So it's fooling the other eye to look too much up. It's trying to correct this problem that I have with my eyes and um, yeah. I've had some bone removed behind this eye. So there's a lot of changes in the eye socket and around the eye socket because of the tumor. And that's why I'm looking crazy like this without the glasses. And that's why I usually use the eye patch when I didn't have the glasses that I, I'm gonna show you next. So now that I put the glasses on, it fixes the problem. Uh, it's called a prism eyeglass. It's uh, supposed to tilt both of the eyes just so that they look straight. The reason for this video is actually I'm going to a surgery tomorrow morning where they're going to try and fix this problem <sighs> as best as they can. They're gonna take the muscles that are attached to my, my eyeball and they're gonna cut them and they're gonna put some uh, stitches in each one of those little muscles and they're gonna adjust those stitches after I wake up from the anesthesia. So it's probably gonna be a horrible day tomorrow. I'm gonna do a follow-up video after the surgery. Maybe, maybe someone has to do this someday and uh, this will help some of you. And I can answer in the comments if you have any questions about this operation. I know this is not a motorcycle uh, content, but because this is the reason for my channel name and this is, tumor situation is the reason why I actually made the channel in the first place, I thought maybe I'll do an update, something due to this surgery and uh, answer some of your questions that you have had in the comments over the last one and a half years. So yeah, if you want, I can talk about the medical issues that I've had in the last two years more in a separate video. I'm not sure if that's interesting to anyone, but uh, so in the morning, I'm gonna go to the surgery and uh, here's hoping everywhere, everything goes well and I can just uh, look at you straight without these prism glasses that I'm wearing right now. So wish me well. All right. The operation is done. My hands are shaking. Yeah. It looks pretty bad, but it doesn't feel as bad as it looks. Uh, I'm full of opiates, <laughs> so I'm, my head is going spinning crazy. But yeah, we're gonna talk to you later. I'm gonna leave the hospital now. All right. So. Now I'm looking at you straight, so everything went uh, well, maybe even a little bit better than expected because um, there was very little they had to do with adjustment. After the surgery was over and I was woken up, they were pretty happy about the result right out, out of the box, as I tend to say. So the surgery was fine and I'm, I'm, I'm a bit loopy because I'm in so many pain medicines, they gave me some pretty pretty good pain medicine and I, I need to just start cleaning my eye because it's uh, as you can see it's dripping blood still a little bit but yeah it um, the procedure itself you don't even though it looks pretty bad 
it's nothing you have to worry about if you ever have to do this when you're an adult. It's uh, way easier than I thought. Of course, after every surgery, there's some pain involved, but it's definitely not as bad as I thought. I don't know how it's gonna be in the upcoming days, but uh, at least for now, this is definitely the easiest surgery I ever had to do ever. I've had two surgeries in my head and I have my appendix removed once and uh, this was uh, pretty quick and painless. Um, of course, it's a little annoying because I have to put some eye drops in my eye three times a day and I ha probably have to eat some painkillers, but because of the tumor situation, I've had to eat painkillers for the last two years so that's nothing new to me and having some surgery pain after the surgery it's uh, no big deal because I'm I've had headaches for 24 months so maybe over 24 months already so this is nothing this is this is pretty easy but yeah if you have to do this someday if someone has to do this you just go for it they are very good at what they do and uh, as you can see, I'm looking at you straight now without the glasses. So it was definitely worth it for now, at least. I feel like uh, I was more worried than I should have been. Let's say that much. So definitely, if you have to do this, it's probably gonna be a big change in my quality of life after this heals up and uh, I can just ride without, without my glasses, especially here in Finland, because I mean, the glasses are getting frozen so easily, it's, uh, it's a pain to use them, so... I think I'm... Uh, so far I'm very happy about the result, and... Uh, yeah... I'm no longer Patched Bandit, but uh, that's the origins of the channel, so I'm not gonna change the name. <laughs> uh, so... Have a nice 2024. Um, I'm probably gonna do my next videos after this heals up because it's not easy. It's, it feels a little irritated and uh, I feel like I have to just close my eyes and let it be for a few days.